Saving Private Ryan, we checked that one out. We checked out Forrest Gump. So today we're gonna be adding Castaway to the lineup. I know what this movie is. I know kind of what it's about, I guess. You on the other hand, I'm pretty sure you have no idea. No, I mean, obviously just based off the thumbnail, you can tell he just kind of like looks like he's outside on a beach. He's but maybe a castaway. Yeah, he's a castaway, obviously. obviously. <laughs> it's Tom Hanks, we love the guy. Patreon said to watch it, let's go. Right, but one of the things that I've learned on this journey is a lot of the times in my mind, oh yeah, that movie's about a guy being stranded on the beach the same way Signs was about aliens. But it turns out these movies are a lot deeper. Yeah, obviously. they're always so something more. I'm really excited to see what the underlying meaning of this one probably is because they always have like a theme. So let's go. Let's go. This is starting out like no country for old men. I know what it is. That would suck to have to cut all of that grass. A FedEx truck. Cast away. Interesting imagery with the crossroads, maybe? Right, because if this was like not a 2000 movie, this would be an Amazon Prime car. Dang, they're like wings. Mrs. Peterson, how you doing? You see, that is right there on the desk. Where's she headed? Oh, she's snowbound, Ramon. Dang, she knows see the FedEx truck. <laughs> All right, we'll see you there. All right, thanks. I'm blessing my soul, but what's wrong with me? The water's a bug, I'm in love. Does she make an Etsy project, Loki? Yeah, she's about to start selling those on Facebook Marketplace. Beautiful. Trust Asia. All right, Patricia. Spasibo. That's a Russian cowboy. cowboy. It's pretty. It's from my wife. From Ooh. your wife. So he's he's doing little side projects in Moscow. How much did FedEx have to pay? I know. Did they sponsor this video? This video is brought to you by FedEx. Hey guys, you ever notice the arrow between the E and the X? No. So there is one. Check it out. Time rules over us without mercy. Not caring if we're there he goes, Tommy before Hanks. Before the end of today's package sort. That's how long we have. That's how much time we have before this pulsating, accursed, relentless taskmaster tries to put us out of business. Oh. <laughs> hey, Nikolai. Hey. You would look so Nikolai, cute in that coat that he has on. Oh, you kidding? Look what you did. You that just one? delivered yeah. the very first FedEx package. That deserves something special, like a Snickers bar <laughs> and a CD player. What? To listen to, a CD. There, Elvis Presley. 50 million fans can't be wrong. You all recognize this, <laughs> don't you? I fed exed it before I left Memphis. What could it possibly be? That was for him, huh? Architectural plans? Maybe technical drawings? Is this a new wallpaper for the bathroom? It is... 87 clock, hours. Which I started at absolute zero is now at 87 hours, 22 minutes, and 17 seconds. It's kind of a long time. From Memphis, America to Nikolai and Russia. In 2000. Hours. Not bad. No, that's a long time. hours is a shameful outrage. <laughs> this is just an egg timer. Seven what if times? it had been something else? 87 hours is an eternity. Wars have been fought and nations <laughs> topple in 87 hours. <laughs> because in three hours and two minutes now, every one of these packages has to be on the big truck. And on its way to the airport. Bro, FedEx must have some dirt on him. Crunch time! Oh, he must have did something. Yeah, he's really let's riding go, for this go, company. Go, let's let's go. Just straight going in on these rushes. What? Big problem. What? It's what? Stock, the most important truck, the Kremlin truck, many packages. <laughs> Out here doing God's work for FedEx. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll be honest, I didn't think we were starting this movie out like this. Let's go, unlock, oh, get him out of there. Right here, two lines, CDG, FE, ME, Memphis, on the airport truck, everything else right there. Nikolai, tick tock, tick tock, four minutes. <laughs> He's the best. Kelly, are you there? Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Doing the story. He's rushing her because it's all about time. In the shadow. He's like, hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Oh, it's so cozy. I miss you. I really want to kiss you. Uh, I love you, and I'm going to see you soon, and you know what that means. Bye bye. Nikolai! Tick tock, tick tock! <laughs> I absolutely positively have to get to Memphis tonight. Can't help you. Try UPS. Okay, with this extra headwind, are we going to be able to push it a bit and make the sort? We'll do our best. What do you expect from the guy who stole a crippled kid's bicycle when his truck broke down? I borrowed it. How does everyone I know? About it, that? But I love that the I kids know. Where did we get Two minutes. Two minutes. Actually, it was less than that. It's about the trucks. Today's truck was two minutes late. Tomorrow's will be four minutes late, and then six minutes late, and eight minutes late. Next thing you know, we're the U.S. mail. No. <laughs> all I'm saying is, you've gotten all those trucks on the plane. And, hey, now, don't, don't, don't give me that look. It's grape juice, right, Chuck? Yeah, it's like a 1992 
full body gravy. Uh, see no evil, hear no evil. Speak yeah, well, well, they're, they're not, not driving. Some, but you know, somebody's got to fly the plane. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd just say no, right? Stan, I've been meaning to ask you, how's Mary? We, we really don't know anything yet. What a buzzkill. She went to the doctor yesterday. It hasn't met metastasized as far as they can tell. It's just kind of wait and see. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Would you tell her I'm going to come by and see her on my next layover? I just want you to know, Stan, we are all just thinking about her and you and just blessings. Aw, Gwen's so nice. I heard about this doctor down in Emory in Atlanta. What I was thinking is, is that I could I could get his number for the doctor and, uh, you know, put you all together and, you know, you could get this thing fixed. Chuck just seems like a nice guy, huh? Mm-hmm. Everyone's nice. So Guys, far. before we get into it, let us know, man. So far, what's your favorite Tom Hanks movie? Any movie that we've seen or any movie we have? And Toy Story counts. <clears throat> Absolutely, it does. He was incredible in that. Is Kelly Freer's around? She's copying her dissertation. Oh, this is his wife? Hey, I know her. She's from Twister. You, you don't know that movie. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> I literally thought I was about to be the Jenny Girl. lady and I was about to cry. From Forrest Gump? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not her. But yeah, she played in Twister. We're gonna watch that eventually on the channel. Awesome movie. Okay, now they're dancing and stuff. And just That's what's up. Before Santa departs on his annual gift giving venture, he's been declared physically fit to fly. Santa got checked out by Dr. Oh, I seem happy. In Augusta, Georgia. In Sarajevo, he spent the day with children. It's Santa. Hell yeah, let's go, Santa. Helping them decorate a special Christmas tree. You ain't dominating me. <laughs> oh. you to talk? You're too tall to cuddle like that. Why is she contemplating? Dry, contemplating behind his hair. Like <laughs> Man, doesn't that just feel like a different time? It's so like colorful. Christmas isn't like that anymore. I love how colorful and just like happy it feels. 2.9 has got to be the record. 2.9. Perfect marriage between technology and systems management. Hey, speaking of marriage, Chuck, when are you going to make an honest woman out of killing? Oh, they're not married yet. Hold on. Are they engaged? Not even at all? <laughs> no, they're shaking hands. Just that Kelly is still recovering from her failed relationship with a parolee. <laughs> he was a lawyer. <laughs> you didn't have something to do with raising your right hand and swearing to tell the truth. <laughs> Kelly, remember when he fell on the sidewalk and broke his shoulder no, at the no. wedding reception? No. He tripped on a curb, probably holding a door open for me. Hey, Kelly was That'd be embarrassing <laughs> to break your shoulder like that. She's asking. Great. Oh, did you hit an olive pit? I thought I took all of them out. No, no. Why aren't they making a big deal about his tooth for? Oh, she looks so sad about that. He's got to go. He's like Batman. Okay, I'll cancel Saturday. No, don't, don't. If I'm not here, I'm not. But if I am, well, Malaysia can't be that bad. I'll be here you. Oh, this is sad because I bet he's not going to. He's going to be casted away somewhere. Oh, no. What about our Christmas? I got a gift for you. We have to do it in the car. I got a minute right over here, all right? Even the booth has got some Christmas spirit. Actually, two minutes, okay? Ooh. Hey, Merry Christmas. You, you know that song? I can't well, right, Of course what is, I do. What is the rhythm? Is it a thousand pound test fishing line or something? Thousand pound test. You can catch anything. You can catch a basket well on that. Aww. My granddaddy used it on the Southern Pacific. It's got a picture of her in it. Oh, yeah, this is I sweet. Took this. this is my favorite picture of you. You know what I'm going to do? I'm always going to keep this on Memphis time. That's clutch, because he's going to need that when Aww. he's stranded on an island. Kill Memphis time. Memphis time. You haven't said anything about your presence. No, is there a problem? I'm sorry. No, I love him. Look at my journal. Oh. What about the pager? Real leather, and look at the pages have gold on them. <laughs> did, you, did you like the pager or not? Yes, I love it. Look at him in his little blue Russian house there. I'm Russia. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry about the hand towels. No, no, I love them. <laughs> You're hard to shop for. Every time I wash my hands, I will think of you. All right, <laughs> I gotta go. Merry Christmas. Aww. Yeah, I love you. I love you too. They seem like they're just working it out, even though their schedules are crazy. How will we add our hand towels and blue ones a couple years? <laughs> I still remember them. Those were good times buying those. Yeah, I love a good hand towel. <clears throat> Reminds me, I almost forgot. I have one more present for you. Only this isn't uh, an open the car kind of present. I like, say, hand towels, which were a joke, by the way. I'm terrified. What if it's like an SD card? <laughs> Take it and hold on to it. You can open it on New Year's Eve. Man, so he's going to propose. When he gets back. I'll if he right does. Back. Oh, I'll be right back. I was really, really hoping I wasn't going to cry in this one, but Tom Hanks' face makes me cry. 
Dang, it sounded like they had beer bottles in there. Did you hear that? Yeah. But where are we? Somewhere over the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> you pilots, you're funny. <laughs> Blaine, if you get to a town where deviated south for weather, make another position. They're committed black, to these packages, left. man, because that yeah, looks like dangerous weather. FedEx, We're 200 camera. miles south of the original Six course. Two. That's never good. They're running out of fuel. Procedures. Tahiti Control, FedEx 88, broadcasting in the blind. How do you read? Broadcasting in the blind. Buckle up, Chuck. How do you get bumpy? Oh no. Every time I ride in a plane, I'm knocked out from the second I get on until the second I leave. One, five, two, six. Yeah, you need to wet that face when you hit the ground, might like, hurt less. <laughs> I just took mine off today. <gasps> no way. Dang, oh, an no. explosion. And they're over the ocean. And that guy's still helping them too. Wow. Yeah, they're over the ocean, the Pacific right now. <gasps> that would be so scary to hear, man. I, oh lord. What is that? Like a raft or something? They're just being professionals during it, though. <gasps> Brother, ouch. Man, they're about to hit the water. <gasps> Oh, this man is crazy. Could you imagine trying to do all this free falling in a plane? Tug. Did you see that blood? <gasps> oh! No! Are they this nose diving? This is stressful. Oh. I just wanted to hurry up and happen. This is too. This is too intense. Oh my gosh. I couldn't imagine. <gasps> oh my, oh no. Man. It's so close to Christmas. He's so lucky, man. There is no way, no way. They did a good job coming in at an angle, cause. Oh. Oh, yeah. That man saved his life, too, didn't he? Oh, no. Oh, he's hung up. There's always an obstacle. This was already an unexpected breath holding, you know? That's the plane just down there already? Lord. There's a wing right there. So which plane crash you like more? That one or the one on Lost? I know you You better get away from that. Please be near something, anything. That's so scary. Whoa. <gasps> oh, it got all in the raft. I have dreams like that. <laughs> I don't the like dreams you have. Where the waves just crush down on me? Yeah. Maybe okay. you're feeling overwhelmed. You feel like you gotta get that Game of Thrones out. <laughs> 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 That would be so cold and scary and dark. Oh man, Tom Hanks. Man, Tom Hanks had a higher power looking after him. I'd have been in that water. I know, my movie would have ended right there. <laughs> you mean Bangalore? <Bagelors? laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. Bangalore's. <laughs> Bangalore's, we need Bangalore's. <laughs> We need dangy bombs. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's wrong with me? Wow. That'd be a crappy way to wake up. I did see he had a sailing certificate, so. To be honest with you, I'd immediately start looking for the hatch. Yeah, I was going to say, what immediately would you do? To be honest, just try to find something to drink. You don't need that anymore, buddy. Oh. Guess it's not working. Yo, it's a FedEx package. Oh, nice. Maybe we'll have some food or something in it. Or some shoes. <gasps> Two. 
He's in a weird spot though, because he could be—he could like get rescued soon, maybe, or he just doesn't. I then feel like he, in that situation, man, get to a high peak, see what's up, and if you don't see nothing, just assume that you're not getting rescued, because somewhere like in that environment, you can't try to walk or die. You gotta know where some water's at. Right, but you have to think that someone's looking for you because they know the plane crashed. You just like I don't know, maybe that's why I would hold on to. I don't know. Hello? Good thing he was privy to that conversation. They were 200 miles off course. No communications. Someone who's always on a time limit is now officially on no time limit. At all. That's probably gonna be the hardest thing is that mental adjustment. This is about to be a psychological movie for sure. That thing barely got him there. Right, but it's now a bed, right? Basically. Nah, that thing right there is something to keep the sun off of me. Hello, anybody? Man. Anybody? Help! He's gonna have to write it a little bolder than that. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He has to like either allocate his time to get help or to build a Survive. shelter. Yeah. yeah, you gotta make a choice. Uh oh. He's about to have to become damn jungle man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Who was it? It was nothing. It was just tree branches snapping in the dark. That's a little better. Some packages just keep coming, though. I'd be hoping for like some fishnets, some rope. Who's gonna order that through FedEx? <laughs> what is that? This <laughs> <laughs> hey! is smoke monster. Anybody? He's too true to his job. I'd be opening them things. Maybe he's waiting for Christmas. <laughs> if your plane crashed and you was on an island, though, and you had no idea, where would you think you were? Well, they said Tahiti 88, so I think I was like 2,000 miles away near or from Tahiti. <laughs> what a non-answer. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say Madagascar. Oh. I would think I was on Coconut Island. Watch your finger, watch your finger. Oh, a wedge. It's gonna break, is it? Oh, let's go. I bet he becomes pro at this. Yeah, he's gonna learn some tricks. Right. Oh, you wasted all the juice, though. Now I get a little sip. No. It's okay, he has like six more. Oh. Sing your song. He's an island boy. He's just an island boy. <laughs> Time trying to make it. He's adapting, but he still has too much integrity because of the packages. What if there's a flare in one of them? Babe, ain't nothing gonna be in those packages but a sweater. Probably like a jump rope or something. That's helpful. A jump rope? Yeah, glassy of fish. Hello? Yeah, good idea. He's bleeding. He needs to go rig up some sandals. Oh, uh, a, a, a high point. That's what you need. I mean, that's the first thing I would do. I would just scout the area because maybe there's a better place to live. Oh, nice. Another one. Let's go. Hey, we got some Mark 1 sandals. To be honest, that looks really miserable. Imagine you down an island because your feet are so beat up that you can't walk. Or you just get infected. This is about to be a tiny island, isn't it? Oh, stop. Not even on the map. Look how small it is. Oh. Tiny. That looks like the pilot or something face down in the water. That island is tiny, dude. Like, it could just easily get overlooked constantly. That, yeah, like, they wouldn't even know that's there. And this, the scariest thing is it's so small, there's no animals on it. So he's gonna yeah. have to get fish. No, and he's gonna have to... Because, I mean, no. best case scenario, there's, like, boar and stuff, but... How are they gonna get there, you know? Yeah, he's gonna have to turn into Aquaman. Oh. Oh. He was not prepared for this. 
It sounds jacked up to say, but maybe he's got some shoes. Oh, he's got a crab on his leg. You know you have to take that. Man had a crab leg. <laughs> <laughs> get, go, go. No, you don't <coughs> need that. I would eat his ass. The crab, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just make it hurt. Just make if it I could hurt. get some fire. No, it's sashimi. And he had the non slip specials on. He's like, you little foot bastard. Oh. That wasn't the guy. R. Miller, not Alan Albert. That wasn't the guy who gave him the rap, was it? I think it was. Yeah, he saved his life, I think. That's his son's. Oh. Oh. Man, that's so sad. That Forty-five. Was, that was so sweet. I'm glad I didn't see this as a like teenager. This is hitting a little different now that I'm older. It'd be wild. So that's it. That's good on you, buddy. Sandals. So that little locket right there is probably what's gonna keep them going and give them hope. Good old Kelswells. <laughs> He's just in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's in the restroom. Bro, wipe your bum, shawty. <laughs> yeah, hey, he's out there. What a sight, though. That's your dream right there. I mean, there would definitely be moments <laughs> where this would be really, really nice, you know? But I tell you what, this would be really, really scary and lonely, really. You see that one? Ah, oh, and he missed it. He literally missed. Oh, that's just so far away. Hey, shit! Hey, 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 hey! That's shit. almost sad. Over here! Hey! hey! I know that hurts my feelings because they here. definitely don't see him. He's trying to go out there. You know, he might, but only because he's straight tripping at this point. He's losing his mind. He's trying to like do a Moana type move right here. It's about to get a lot bigger out there. But can't you get deep enough to a point where you just kind of go over it? Yeah, eventually. So basically, if he makes it to that point, he might be a little okay. Yeah, but I don't think he's gonna make it. Yeah, like he doesn't even have provision. This might just set him back. Mm. Oh no. No, no, no. You better brace that one. I can't believe people live for that. Some people will be like Calabunga. Oh, I thought that stabbed him. It got his float. <gasps> Duck! Man, that's not so cool. what happened. What if this turns into a shark movie? Oh man, now you're double screwed. That'd make you really hesitant to want to try to get off that island again, right? You definitely have to come up with something better than that, you know. You better start building a raft somehow. I would say this was the toughest day he's had so far. That would just be so cold. There's just no telling what's in here. He's about to be trapped in there. He's raining. A stream. Yo, he. Yes. The light at the end of the tunnel. That's a W. Oh, it's a flashlight. Oh, yeah, it's going to if he falls asleep. I knew it. He's all on his own now. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to have to amputate that. Better go rub some sand than if he cuts his own leg off on an island by himself. That'd be terrible. He's stacking up, though. 
<laughs> he just throws them. I think I would dig a giant hole and just start tossing them in there or something. Did you see that arrow between the E and the X? The arrow? Oh, the Y? It's white. Mm -hmm. That kind of sucks. That, that's what that is. A gift. Aww. It was to Johnny. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Johnny. The most beautiful thing in the world is, of course, the world itself. Johnny, have the happiest birthday ever score your grandpa. Oh, that's so sweet. My grandpa never sent me a car. Oh. Wrong climate. <laughs> He's going to pick up some new hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> is that when you're bored? You just try that on? I don't know, man. You might cuddle up with that in the cave. <laughs> he has no idea that lady's a welder. So he just didn't want to open that one because the wings? Yeah, maybe so. Nice. That's very mature of him to not pop that bubble wrap. I know. Oh, hell yeah. Let's oh go. Oh my gosh, that was useful. Sardines. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, we gotta make some fire, bro. Nice. Get it, get it, get it. Mmm. Man, that steak's so sharp. Ooh. Don't you like food like that? I call that exotic stuff. A crab leg? Well, yeah, but you eat all that raw fish and stuff. Sushi? Is that what that was? Sushi? That wasn't, but you do eat sushi sometimes. Oh, nice. I hate to tell him, but I don't think he's going to start a fire like that. If His anyone... hands are so beat up, he can't even do it anymore. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, his tooth hurt. Yeah, that might work. That whole yeah, that ain't gonna fly right there. Ah, ah, <gasps> ah. Man, you're gonna get hurt worse. Oh, the origin story. Chunk it. Man, that sucks. I feel him for real. That's how I'm like when I stomp my toe. He just keeps on getting injured. Oh, he drew a little face on it. You don't know what that is? That didn't ring a bell to you? Mm. No idea. <laughs> uh, is it supposed to? <laughs> I'll tell you in a little bit. It's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should turn it around, though, because it is kind of looking at you. Well, no, he just feels weird because this is the first time he's felt eyes on him in so long. <laughs> he's been so isolated. You would feel like that volleyball is like judging you. By a chance, would you? What is that? You would feel like it's judging. Oh! <gasps> it was like judging you or something. <gasps> oh, he broke the stick. The air got to it! Right. That optimism helped him do that. Yeah, you need a little airflow. There you go. <gasps> Let's go. Add to it. Add to it. Let's go. That's how I feel when I get that uh, brush to catch on fire during the summer. The same thing. Yes. I cut it down. Right, but you have to give credit to that volleyball because it helped you. Right, he's starting to put together some dubs, then. But seriously, guys, when you trim them, cut them trees down, and they're so green and full of sap that you catch them on fire anyways, that's how I feel. Oh, yeah, true. Look what I have created! I have made fire! I have made fire! Ooh, and he has a crab dinner. I'll give him some. You gotta love crab. The nick of time, too. 
much one of those coconuts. Coconut milk's a natural laxative. Things that Gilligan never told us. I never watched Gilligan's Island, but I know what it is. I, I know what it is too, but I, I didn't watch it either. He used to come on at Nick at night. Pretty well made fire. Oh, Wilson. So, Wilson. Oh, he named him. In route from Memphis. So you've never heard someone call it the volleyball Wilson. You know when I played volleyball, they did? But I was always like, that's a brand. <laughs> they think that we are right here. So that's a distance of what, 400 miles? Yeah, they're never fine, you, bro. That's a search area of 500,000 square miles. And that's if they're like Twice looking. Twice the size of Texas. They may never find us. Ah. Ah. Truth is just killing me. Man, you gotta get that out. Started out just hurting when I bit down, but now, you know, it just hurts all the time. All the time. It's a good thing there's not much to eat around here, because I don't think I could chew it. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to have a, a dentist right here in this cave. He's got the wings up there. I need your Wilson like three times. <laughs> and his girlfriend. I, oh, I thought that dentist. was the Grinch. <laughs> this is what I said, the girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, doctor. Wilson, you want to hear something funny? My dentist name is Dr. James Spaulding. <laughs> <laughs> Another volleyball brand. Bro, you did her wrong. <laughs> she's much prettier in real life. Yeah, she don't look like she's going to steal Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she gives gifts, not takes them. <laughs> Stop it. Is he about to break his tooth out? <laughs> Bro, I'm going to... Mm-mm. No. No. Don't be so brash. No, Tom Hanks. No. <laughs> oh. That's pretty intense, wasn't it? He probably landed in the fire. Dude. Really puts it into perspective how lucky we are. We can just go to the dentist. We're not trapped on an island. Four years? <gasps> I hope he's not making signal fires anymore. I hope they're just like survival ones. Oh yeah, he done turned into a damn Amazonian. Oh my. <laughs> it looks like in Forrest Gump when he was running across the country. Mm -hmm. And that's the side his tooth was on, so I guess he's good. Poor Kelly, man. I mean, definitely poor him, but she's probably really confused. <laughs> yeah, that would really suck from her perspective mm -hmm. also. It's tragic all the way around. Oh, the months. At least he's keeping up with the time pretty good. Shut up! So they're hostile with each other now. Well, they're just really used to each other at this point. Probably done heard each other's stories a thousand times. Mm -hmm. A porta potty door? Why is he pointing the stick at it? <laughs> <laughs> So it's from the USA. Bakersfield. Bakersfield! That's an exciting day. <laughs> I him. know. Very eventful. He's like, what you think, Wilson? This could work. This could work. I don't know about that. He's losing his mind. But hey, after four years, I don't know how I'd feel either. Dang, is that that? Oh. <sighs> That's so crazy. He's come a long way. He's doing a good job, though. I'm surprised he hasn't built a whole house yet. He just seems like someone who's still trying to get off, just not trying to just yeah, live there. Yeah, he ain't there. trying to commit that hard, yeah. 44 lashing, so we have to make rope again. He's been using him to make rope. to make a hell of a lot of rope. Oh, no, I guess not. I thought there was some type of thread inside that ball he was using. You know, when we was in elementary school, we learned how to do all this type of stuff, and then we got to middle school and we just stopped. Month and a half. Maybe at your elementary school. Let's not commit the sin of turning our back on time. I know. Oh, it talks back. Oh, oh wow, nice. we're using the film. I feel like that's kind of flimsy, though. This is it. It's all that's left. Dang, Check out the, the whole island. island. That is all that's left. So we're going to be short. Oh. Just have to make some more out of videotape. Yes. No, we have time. <laughs> we do. We have time. Look, the wind's still blowing in from the west. Wilson's like, whatever you say, bro. I know. No, oh, he's getting yeah, fed I up. With I know where there's thirty feet of extra rope, <laughs> but I'm not going back up there. And we went up there. What in the hell? Oh, 
bro. He was trying to check out at some point. Oh, he was just pra- that was the he, practice he, run. That was to make sure it wasn't gonna snap, and he didn't want to fall. He was too scared to fall and like survive it. Yeah, man. that's so sad, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. It makes it so sad because the island is so small. It's like a prison cell. Mm, you can't even go explore things. Yeah. Well, regardless, I would rather take my chance out there on the ocean than to stay here and die on this shithole island, spending the rest of my life talking to a goddamn volleyball! No! I know. Why did I hurt my feelings? <laughs> Just a volleyball. Because we both know deep down Wilson's never really done anything wrong. He's been a good friend. Kicked your homie out. Wilson! Oh, no. This is the iconic Wilson! Wilson! Well done! Well done! Well done! Well done! Oh, he's right there. You see him? Oh! Oh! Never again! Never again! Never again! Oh, That's actually really sad, man. Oh, that hurts my feelings so bad. I know you. I know you. <laughs> so. Well, he's got more friends than I do. <laughs> we okay? Even still. Okay. Pretty slick. I mean, I still don't think it's going to make it, but... <laughs> <laughs> so he must want to just keep this package because it's keeping him going. Because he wants to deliver it. Oh. You're still away? <laughs> Me too. You're scared? No, I would be. Me too. I don't know why he wasn't friends with that group looking thing. I don't know. That thing is creepy looking. That signifies his death. True. He likes Wilson. He can kick him around more. He saw it said D Day. Was it a saving private Ryan an Easter egg? Aww. But you know, as sick as it is, he's probably gonna miss that little island. Yeah, for sure. At his home. Oh wow, he even had a launching pad. Stop it. Oh look, my jump would have came apart as soon as it hit the water. <laughs> okay, here we go, Wilson. That's you don't correct. have to worry about anything. I'll do all the paddling. <laughs> you just hang on. Oh, we brought some coconuts. Yeah, but when he first went in the water, did you, just, did you see how big those swells were? Not yet! Hold on! Dude. Wilson was like, turn around. <laughs> not yet! We're not gonna make this one. Not yet! He said I was born on that island. Not yet! Wilson was shook. Did you see him? <laughs> he told him not yet. <laughs> Use it as a sail? Yeah, he had a sailor certificate, remember? I don't know what that means, but it worked. The wings! Yeah, that's what he was painting on me. Aww. Aww. That's a perspective. He's never seen that island before. Because when he first pulled up, he didn't see. So he's seeing home from a brand new. Well, he feels like he made it, right? So maybe if he like, but. He, he don't know what he's feeling, man. He's so broken right now. <laughs> Good job, Sailor Wilson. That was it. Is this based on a true story? I don't know. I've never even heard of this story. Oh no, and it's raining. Oh, well, I guess he can get some water. Nah, it's just inspired by true events. Oh, he has a canteen. Oh my gosh. It's Moby Dick. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I was about to say, as long as it don't turn into some Jonah in the well over here. Oh, it's so beautiful. He said, I just want you to know I'm looking out for you, big dog. Or he's like, you're very deep. Turn around. Oh, my gosh. That thing's going to come off eventually. Yeah, I'm just wondering, is his motive to make it somewhere? Or just to hopefully just, oh, no. Oh, he's going to burn to death. Oh, he's about to be cooked. No, he's asleep. That well is looking out for real. It sounds so cool. You see him back there? Escaping. Yeah, he knows where the island's at. He said, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Wilson? Wilson, where are you? It's going to be so hard to get back up there. Mm-hmm. Say he needs to grab his throat. Mm -hmm. I'm coming. Do this it. is stressing me out because I hope he gets him. Come on, buddy. 
He's gotta make a choice. Save himself or let his friend die. <gasps> no. Well then, I'm sorry. Oh, are you crying, baby? That is sad. Well then. Not me crying over a volleyball. I was about to say, we normally don't cry over sporting goods. That is heartbreaking, though, man. In his mind, he really just lost his best friend. I'm never gonna look at volleyballs the same. Like, this is ruined him. <laughs> man, I never knew Wilson died like that. Because I always knew the volleyball thing, but I didn't realize that was so sad. Is he giving up? He's just no, gonna let the ocean it. take his will? That's not a whale, it's an angel, I swear. <gasps> is that a ship? Yeah, it looks like a container ship or something. Oh my gosh, please see him. That's why the whale was trying to wake him up. Oh. So that whale was looking out for him. That's kind of sad, man. Wake up. That'd be the best sight you ever saw. And it sucks, because he was so close to not losing Wilson, too, man. Kelly. He said Kelly. Hello? Kelly. Okay. <gasps> she has a family. She got remarried, and they got a kid. How old was that baby? She moved on quick. The baby was at least two and a half. It was four years. I mean, bro, at least give me, like, two years. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I'd be scared if I was him. 45 minutes. Come on, Dr. Pepper. He said, he said, he said, let me get Two 16 of them. <laughs> I like guys. His friend. Plane pulls in, we get off, and there's a little ceremony right there in the hangar. And then we'll take you over to see Kelly. He doesn't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to say to her. What in the world am I going to say to her? Chuck, Kelly had to let you go. She thought you were dead. That's so tough. We had a funeral and a coffin, a gravestone, the whole thing. She yeah, grieved him. Four years ago, the FedEx family lost five of our sons. That was a terrible and tragic day. Man, you also a good employee, too. Has been returned to us. Chuck, welcome home. They've been doing good at FedEx. You probably don't remember me. I, I actually did root canal on you about five years ago. Oh, wow. Jim Spalding <laughs> referred you. Jim Spalding referred you. Um, yeah. I'm Kelly's husband. She's had it rough. First one, she thought she lost you, and now dealing with all of this. It's it's confusing. It's it's very emotional for her. She's man. All he wanted to do was see her. Maybe you could just give her a little more time. Anyway, uh, sorry. That... It's probably awkward for him too. Yeah, that sucks for everyone involved, man. That's just unfortunate. Oh. Um... He don't want her to go in. I have to brief this man on his meetings tomorrow with the accountants and the attorneys. Right? I will see you bright and early in the morning. It seemed like that party was for them, not him. <laughs> some sleep okay we got another big day tomorrow it takes a lot of paperwork to bring back the man back to that hectic okay, lifestyle yeah, now, tomorrow for the pager was all you we're had. gonna bring you back to life well oh, he's longing for that silence look at the crab legs look i know damn crab legs and sushi out of here that's all this man has had boy i'll still be smacking it <laughs> no let's make it let's make it seafood thing <laughs> he'll Put love rafts that and sand everywhere <laughs> he'll love that he ain't sick of it at all <laughs> You ain't seen no crabs that big. Some Alaskan crabs. What if you saw Spider-Man back there running? <laughs> Doing his little thing. Look at him. He's like, look how easy this flame is right here. He's on the floor and he's still looking at the watch. I thought a picture of Wilson was going to be there now. For, <laughs> for four years, all he wanted to do was just create some light in that cave. and could do it. How long will that buy me? About 10 minutes. Didn't he give us like 40 bucks or something? <laughs> Back then, that should have been like 80 minutes. Ooh, she got a ring camera. I'm awake. I saw your taxi drive up. Get in here out of the rain. Where's the husband? I saw you down at the hub today, so I know you were down there. I'm gonna get you too. They're sleeping. You come in, I'll make you some coffee. As in the husband's sleeping too? Man, sleeps harder than I would be. Knowing the ex is in town. Yeah, like it's what the nice heck? House. Yeah, we got a nice mortgage, too. What's your daughter's name? Katie. Beautiful little girl. She's a handful. She's trying to make it not seem like her life's, like, good. Get a big mortgage, mortgage and a big handful. We have a pro football team now, but they're in Nashville. They used to be in Houston. First they were the Oilers, now they're the Titans. Houston Oilers are the Tennessee Titans. <laughs> That's not all. We went to the Super Bowl last year. And I missed that. Oh, you would have died. It was so exciting. They almost won. They lost one yard. One, yard, yeah. one lousy <laughs> yard right at the end. He was like... 
Steve McNair. I got whole milk, 2% and non-fat. I don't have any half and half, and that's what you like. And that'll do fine. You don't have preferences anymore. Crab or no crab. <laughs> I don't know, after four years, dairy would be messing me up. I'm like Kevin, coconut milk. You're becoming milk. a professor. <laughs> you're not Dr. Kelly Frears. Love it. When your plane went down, everything just sort of got put on hold. You went on vacation. Oh. I think about taking it up again, though. That's well, everything tough. didn't go on hold, though. She started a whole family. I came out here to give you this. Oh, my God. I'm sorry it doesn't work. I kept the picture. It was all faded anyway. I want you to have it. I gave it to you. That's a family heirloom, and it should stay in your family. Oh. They said they never figured out what caused the crash. Probably some mislabeled hazardous material caught fire. That was an explosion. So here's where that ship found you. You drifted about 500 miles. This wow. is where your island was. 600 miles south of the Cook Islands. And these are the search grids. Ships went back and forth for weeks looking for you. She cared. I never should have gotten on that plane. I never should have gotten out of the car. Maybe that's the meaning of this movie, huh? I want to show you something. Come here. You kept our car, so can I drive it? It's your car. Oh, she gave it back to him. It's wow. good, my, my taxi is gone. I didn't see the title get signed. <laughs> can you get some stuff out of the back? Oh, they were like using the car, like the car seats in it. Mm -hmm. How's she gonna explain Did that the car's going? Kids? I don't know. It's kind of confusing. Yeah, she ain't right out now. Sure? on the dinner table. You said you'd be right back. I'm so sorry. Me too. It's tough, man. So now he's just moving on. That's so crazy. Sometimes it's just an impossible situation, guys. But it's almost as if like they weren't just meant to be together or something. It was like something was holding them apart. Well, it's kind of what I mean. Sometimes it's just an impossible situation. Them being together at this point, mm -hmm. it's impossible. Chuck! Yeah, you're a little late for that. Mm -hmm. Oh dang. Not for Chuck. Nah, Chuck knew. We'll just be together then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just be together. I love you. You're the love of my life. I love you too, Kelly. More than you'll ever know. Is she leaving? I don't know. This feeling what sucks. What in the hell? <laughs> this, this just sucks because, like, to him, they never broke up. You know, it just sucks. To her, it wasn't her choice. He didn't do anything wrong. The new guy. He didn't do anything kid's wrong. kid's innocent. She shouldn't have moved on, though. She wasn't emotionally over him. I know, but if someone says you die, like, what do you do? I don't freaking know. You have to go home. So you telling me the husband's asleep right now? All this is happening? That's crazy. I was going to die there. Totally alone. I mean, I was gonna get sick or I was gonna get injured or something. The only choice I had, the only thing I could control was when and how and where that was gonna happen. So I made a rope and I went up to the summit to hang myself. Luckily, you made it too long. I had to test it, you know, of course. You know me. And the weight of the log snapped the limb of the tree. So I, I couldn't even kill myself the way I wanted to. I had power over nothing. That was deep, dude. I know, so deep. Maybe it was meant to be. Maybe you weren't supposed to. I knew somehow that I had to stay alive. So that's what I did. I stayed alive. I kept breathing. And then one day that logic was proven all wrong because the tide came in, gave me a sail. And now here I am. And I've lost her all over again. But I'm so grateful that she was with me on that island. That's Ouch. Crazy. <laughs> and I know what I have to do now. You gotta keep breathing because tomorrow the sun will rise. Who knows what the tide could bring. Tom Hanks gets them fireworks going, don't they? <laughs> like, damn you, Tom Hanks. <laughs> I'm just chilling now. He brought my Wilson. Oh, he's got the package. He's about to go try to deliver it, hopefully. That's the same spot. Yeah, she lives down that road. It started this way. Look, he's at a crossroads in his life. Oh, look, wings on the mailbox. She's the one who spray paints those wings that the girls be taking the pictures. That you stand in front of? Her? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the man's name's cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, FedEx. Oh. Can we finally know what's in it? She ain't gonna know who Chuck Nolan is unless she has a newspaper. Cause she can't Google search it. <laughs> yeah, true. I'll be like, call me to let me know what's in this. I did not open it for four years. <laughs> Sucks she wasn't home. Good old map on the hood. Is that her? You look lost. I do? 
Where are you headed? Well, I was just about to figure that out. Well, that's 83 South, and this road here will hook you up with I-40 East. If you turn right, that'll take you to Amarillo, Flagstaff, California. But a lift. <laughs> we'll send you right back, back here to me. A whole lot of nothing all the way to Canada. I got it. All right, then. Uh-huh. Good luck, cowboy. <laughs> The pup's name was Wilson. That'd Did you see the, he saw the uh, the angel wings on the back of the truck. <gasps> right, the pup named Wilson. There's your sign right there, boys. So the whole time he thought it was the old Kelly. girl. But it was this girl. It was that package keeping him going, which was her. That's crazy. You gotta go to her house now. Man, you better hope she got some sweet tea. <laughs> Wrong way, Hank. Mm -hmm. And that's perfect, because he's had enough of that ocean life. He's ready for some farmland. Just keep breathing. Damn it, Hank. <laughs> you did it again. Why are you calling him Hank? <laughs> okay, well, the truth is, you guys, I was not supposed to cry today. That was the plan. Um, I cannot believe I've never seen that movie. Jeez, I know, I know, either. I called him Hank, but you guys got to understand. <laughs> I didn't grow up. Once. I didn't grow up watching Tom Hanks like that. <laughs> so the name Tom Hanks doesn't really roll off my tongue like it does you guys. So right, I know that's probably weird to you guys and a lot of people are new so we haven't really told the story but man growing up my dad was really anti television he was anti <laughs> anything he was a workaholic basically and he had a tree company growing up so if i basically wasn't laboring to death then he just didn't understand what my motivations in life were so <laughs> we weren't allowed to do that growing up very much so i just missed all these movies man to be honest with you guys so but gosh that was cast away that was good right was, hey we're three and oh i know tom hanks you're killing it um at least in our book <laughs> I'm tired of crying though, so <laughs> we're watching the Green Mile tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I better not cry enough. Hey, let us know in the comment section what is the worst movie ever made by this man? Is there a movie he's ever made that's just been terrible? That but just flopped? Because I doubt it. A, There's wanna, no way. I want to see the worst movie. I could see it now. Right. We could title it like, We watched Tom Hanks' worst movie and it blew our minds. It would probably like be that. like Toy Story straight up because he don't make bad movies. See, that was a movie that I have seen. Toy, Toy Story? Story? Yeah, yeah I like I've seen movie. Toy Story. That Yes, that Only is because a Tom of, like, Hanks my movie I have seen. Well, I saw it because I was a kid when it came out. <laughs> nah, growing up, I didn't really get to see all that. But... I used to write Andy on the bottom of my shoe. Like, come on. But anyways, guys, let's focus on the castaway. Jeez Louise. What a heartbreaking. Mm, there's so much like. We need to break down all the meanings of this movie. Right. There's a lot of meanings movie. in it. I will right. say that. It started off. I like how it started where it ended. Love that. Um, I love how it, it was at a crossroads. I love how Tom Hanks. We thought the whole time he was sitting here building up this reunion reunion with kelly and all this stuff so the whole time we're sitting here thinking this man's gonna be back with kelly but really kelly was what kept him alive basically right. which was beautiful right honestly it was just beautiful so basically it started out this character lived a very you know a very gotta go, nine gotta to five go. life man yeah. gotta go always on the dime just constantly all about production and he was at a point in his life where he really needed to take a step back and he needed to focus on things that were really important in life. Like, you know, finding someone to spend the rest of your miserable life with. You know what I'm saying? Like actually telling her to marry you because everyone at the dinner right. party was Building like, a family it's been five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Even even all like <clears throat> it was very telling because even early in the movie, I thought it was really I thought it was really charming how big the family was. Yeah. The family was really big and it was loud and everyone was engaged and it was just a whole culture and era <laughs> of Americana that is just completely dead these days, man. Like, at least in my family it is, you know, at least in my experience it is. But families aren't that big and talkative. They're all spread out and they're all busy and hyper-focused. And he was the same type of character. And eventually he was sort of at a crossroads where he was ready to propose and he thought mentally he was ready to make that step. But he kept having this attitude of just one more day of just yeah, giving it everything just one more I trip. I got one more thing to do. One more this. It cost him right in the back. Right. And, and Kelly let's talk was, about that crash scene. Oh, yeah. Really. Talk about it. That crash scene was bizarre. It was very... Drawn out. Yes, it was drawn the out. The anticipation of smacking the water was just like... And the pilot did a fantastic job saving his life last minute. Like, just putting it together. And then it was kind of really sad when he saw the pilot face down in the water. But he had enough respect to bury him and, like, actually, like, give him a headstone and all that stuff. So... Yeah. That was really like sad, but well, yeah, you really. I mean, what options do you have, right? You either let a dying corpse stink up the island, mm -hmm. or you bury it. And but at the end of the day, it, I see what you're saying because it wasn't easy. It's not easy to just bury someone. That, co right. that costs a lot of energy, and you know, food and water and stuff was in short supply. So 
basically he crashed on an island and it's almost like you were saying when you crash on an island you got two trains of thought i can either try to get myself rescued or i can prepare to live here for the rest of my days right and he never he never settled he never settled he, no. he was it's almost like the movie was in a way trying to emphasize that he was fighting for life and yeah like all throughout the movie, man, even on the island, he was fighting for life. He fought for life to get off the island. He fought for life, you know, after he suffered just a really sad fate, right? Like what happened with him and the first woman that he wanted to be with and all mm -hmm. that. So even in that situation, he had to fight for life. So it was definitely a struggle, definitely a struggle. Yeah. It, like you said, just any moment you're straining on an island, you do have those two training thoughts. And it was just bizarre that there was never really a time where he was just like, I'm I'm just going to give in. I'm going to establish my own little situation here. He just the whole time was pursuing the to get off. Even even having arguments with Wilson about it, which Wilson was just the greatest character. Let me just well, say that. There was times I get what you're saying. <laughs> I think you misspoke though, but there was times where his mentality wasn't that he was going to get off. You know, there was like a oh, year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, after about mm -hmm. year 3, he sort of seemed to give up. And then the only reason that he said that he didn't give up was because the way he was going to have to off himself was going to be very violent and painful. And he it had no control of it. Exactly. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to misspeak. No, you're good. That. But then you're, I guess yeah. maybe in his mind, maybe he was already a dead man at that point. So yeah. he's like, I just have to go for it. And yeah, even if I starve and thirst to death is better than sitting. That was his way of like controlling it, I guess, like controlling how it happens is just like giving it his best. If he's going to die, he's going to die at sea, which is horrific. I mean, maybe yeah. that sounds less scary, but I'd almost rather jump off that cliff. Well, I guess he's just I guess what he was entailing with that situation was he's just gonna he's gonna give it his all and if he dies he dies if i really 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 had to pick a way to do that which i don't know why we're talking about that but if i had to like you know what i'm saying get off the island if you guys know what i'm saying i'd probably tie some rocks to my feet Ugh, dude. i mean bro what other alternative are you thinking go to war with a bunch of crabs no i would just make like I don't know. I would probably have like a crazy sandcastle. Sand? Like, well, come on. There ain't no better option. No, I would have a bizarre sandcastle that would have a moat and everything. Like, it would it would look insane. But that's a side note. This. <laughs> that's so on the side. But go ahead. Right. Well, what can you even say? That was just a wholesome. Movie. You know what was so scary about the island? Seriously, but, the thing that was the scariest was there was no vegetation, no wildlife. And other than like crab and fish, you know. And it was really scary how small, like even if it would have been maybe four times the size, it would have gave you almost like this false sense of you got room to stretch your legs. But yeah. this island was literally you wake up and you go sit on the same beach on the same rock and there's nothing, nothing different, nothing to do. And when he was trying to make the rope out of the wood, out of that plant or whatever it was, right? We used to do that in kindergarten, elementary school, first grade. We used to learn all that stuff in social studies. And then as we moved to a different school system, we stopped learning all that type of stuff. But anyways, that's a side note. <laughs> but he ran out of those little trees, which right. was wild to me. Which, another cool element of this is that he worked for FedEx. So when he landed, all those packages were there. So it was, it was interesting to see how those packages were put to use in a survivalist way. Because it was like some skates, a volleyball, a weird dress. And he used them all to help him survive, which was cool. <laughs> it's almost, you know, you just brought up such a great point because I didn't think about that. That was probably the most beautiful thing about the movie, how the three things I really remember him getting was the ice skate, which was what he needed to sustain Essential his AF. body. <laughs> so that took care of his physical. Then there was the Wilson volleyball, which took care of the social. And then there was the package with the wings, which took care of the purpose and mm -hmm. then there was the stopwatch which, which took care of the emotional yeah. so every need that the human needs was essentially provided to him even though he didn't really have the perspective yet to understand that mm -hmm. so this movie essentially was you know it was just saying you know sometimes in life terrible things happen but those things can also be blessings and you don't really realize until after it's over so he would have ended up with the wrong woman mm -hmm. you know and who knows how that story would have ended up maybe it would have ended up you know like you said she she said oh well we got a mortgage and she's like oh you know this is going great and she also shot that down mm -hmm. and when people do that man that's because they're trying to let you know on the low man i'm kind of available right yeah but maybe that was just the wrong maybe she was just wrong maybe she just Maybe she didn't have the best outlook on life and maybe his new outlook and perspective and appreciation just wouldn't have matched hers. Right. You know, so. Because a thing that I noticed is, okay, so you see all those pictures of the family and then the second level 
is her frogs, which was her career, which she completely set on the back on the bottom shelf whenever like it was it was physically and mentally. She really did that. And so life kind of stopped for her when he left and she went for like. I guess the dentist. I don't. I don't really know. I guess she went for the dentist. No, I didn't even talk about that part. We're yeah, done. and um, but it seemed to me like the whole time she was worried about what Chuck Nolan was doing, like and what he was up to. So life stopped for her, but didn't because she was the whole time just believing that this man was gonna come back, but not. You know what I'm saying? Like it was, she was weird. Into the for dentist her. the whole time. Yeah, but but she did put her whole like life on on hold for chuck nolan and he never came back so i don't know man what would you do in that situation i don't know it's an impossible situation it's just one of those things i think they handled it the best they could on a human level you know me personally i feel like if my new wife was behind my back doing that you know settling old old relationships even even though they were how they were like that'd be really hard to handle you know that would just be hard i guess he didn't know but it just goes to show how impossible the situation is. But to be honest, guys, I'm going to be real with you. Like, say your ex died in a plane crash and all that. I'm, dude, I'm good on that. I'm mm-hmm. not dating somebody whose ex died in a plane crash. Right? <laughs> like, I'm just, bro, there's just too many fish in the sea. Like, your ex better just be somebody you don't want. Okay, so That's if it. I die in a plane crash or I die in a plane crash, can then, you can you give me, like, at least six years? I might make it back. How old am I? 31? <laughs> I'm being my prime about 37. I still get swimming, but <laughs> yeah, my girl ain't coming back. <laughs> and I'm so sorry, but she don't she ain't about to uh I don't think you about to build a raft and, and swim home on it. How do you know? Maybe because you Okay, really... six years. Just if I get in a plane crash, just give me six. You want years. me to wait six years? I'll, I'll make it back by if so I don't make I, it back so by six. So if I die in a plane crash, you're gonna wait six years on me? Yeah, so I'll give you six years. Brothers. <laughs> All my brothers in the chat. Let me let me know. Let me know if she's let me know if she's on that on that cap cap. But what I'm saying is all jokes aside, man, for real. This is so hypothetical. What I'm saying is if if you like if man, if that happens, you just don't date that person unless you're just completely you know, some people are cool with it. Some people are like, oh, that's fine, honey, no problem. All good here. But sometimes, man, you just you just don't date that person <laughs> really that I mean, all. you know, what can you say about that? But that that was just a sticky situation that was one of those that's just like man but yeah don't be over there self-righteous guys keep it real man if you were in that situation how would you feel how would you do if i'm tom like real talk dude if i'm tom hanks character i'm just moving on like that's all you can do like she's done had a family it's just one of those things you just got to understand sometimes the universe just has other plans for you and you just got to be okay with that and ultimately he was right oh something when i was in that rant about whatever i was talking about the weirdest part to me, or like just like the, I had just a realization moment is when he looked at the beeper at, at Christmas or whatever they were at Thanksgiving or Christmas, and they she looked at him and he looked at her and they just knew and that was what what really broke my heart about the situation is they looked at each other and they just knew he had to go. Well, it seems like he hopped on a plane every three days. Yeah, so it was just so normal. And then they were like they started pulling out books and they're like they're like even though you're like this, we'll still make this work. Which is like so sad because they were really That's doing their best. That's not a life. That's not a That's life. That's not a life. It yeah. really isn't. It really isn't. If they were to continue down that path, he just would have been on the go. And on they the were go, both the so go. focused on their careers that they would have just had to been okay with being career people. And, you know, some people are career people and that's okay. Right. Know? But there's also nothing wrong with not wanting to be a career person. And right. have a family and, and all that. So. And maybe they would have never gotten to that point because he, he would have kept saying, I'm going to do this. She was going to be a doctor. This and that. And he comes back and she finally has a husband and a child. So that's what I think that whole scene was with the scene with the pictures and then the frogs on the bottom. That's what it was. It was a symbol for what used to be. Right. Yeah, it was sad. So basically, man, was on an island, ate a lot of coconut, ate a lot of crab, ate some fish, gathered rainwater, done a really good job sustaining himself. Like I said, found a friend in Wilson. Honestly, one of the best types of friends you could possibly have because they didn't talk back. They didn't talk junk. Well, the thing about having a friend on an island like that is that person might be your godsend. They might give you just enough social contact to make it through, or Mm -hmm. they might be the one who's falling apart and they might be the one who sets you over the edge. So, you know, maybe that was the exact friend he needed. And ultimately, he built a raft after he had enough courage. Luckily, like you said, he had his selling certificate or whatever. Was that what it yeah. was? Selling certificate. It showed on the shelf, I and mean. I was like, I was like, I wonder if it's showing that because he's gonna try to be a sailor or something. Thank goodness the dude who survived had a sailing certificate. Because, anyways, man, 
uh so that all worked out i thought the coolest part was definitely how he got the ice skate used that to open up the coconut because and he used it to get a tooth out which was brutal by the way yeah uh just uh just a hard four years on the island man i honestly i couldn't imagine it that'd be really scary and it really makes you think if someone said if you were trapped on an island for four years what would you bring with you You right and he was emotionally so strong for it even though he did have that one bad moment but he was boy and then ultimately man he found a cargo ship they rescued him and it was just pretty telling he got back and he was basically a commodity at that point Mm -hmm. i mean it wasn't really about thank god you're alive we care about you how are you doing what was it like it was more about let's just at that point it was just good publicity for fedex but i feel like when he came back everyone was still in there i'm busy i'm busy i'm busy and he was slowing things down so it was like he was even laying on the floor at this point. So. He got back to normal life where everything moved a thousand times faster. And you look up, there's no stars anymore, white pollution. And the views just ain't the same. There's no uh, whale to wake you up. Imagine the the echoing sound of the waves after four straight years. You know, like, it'd almost be peaceful. Yeah. And then hence the crab legs that he's picking up. He's sitting there playing with the with the lighter almost to symbolize how like, easy it was. He's like. In this in this in this world we have fire at our fingertips and people just have no Just like idea. we have like, jumbo sized crab legs that you don't have to catch. You know what I'm saying? Like sitting on ice. Like, yeah, sitting, sitting on ice. On we have ice. sushi. Those I had to eat them things raw. Yes. Beside it. Like, man, get out of here. And he and and then he went home and the saddest part was he was sleeping on the floor. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, guys, the whole scene with him and his ex, it was very uncomfortable to me. And I might have missed something, but did she not say that his he was asleep upstairs? Right. I, that part to me was just hurtful because it was it, it was, was beautiful but it was, it was tearing but it was like she's she might still love him but she's hurting her family that she has now by pursuing this old flame which i think she did the right thing i mean i mean other than the making out you know like in the rain type. as a human i mean that's just what i'm saying it's an impossible situation it's not good that she done that but at the same time you can't really I mean, maybe it was tough, closure. Man. Maybe like, that was closure, you know. But in reality, is that closure, or is that just what you're going to be thinking about every night before you go to bed for the rest <laughs> of your life? You know what I'm saying? Like every time you and your husband get in an argument, you're just going to be thinking about that one time. So <laughs> it's just weird, man. It's just very weird. But I guess that's life, man. Sometimes life is very. But it's just it's ugly like that. It's bizarre how one little one little thing he, that he could have done differently that day. Could have changed everything. If he wouldn't have dropped that watch and got out of his seat, he might would have died in that wreck just like everyone else but Mm -hmm. he was just lucky enough to be in a certain position where he got lucky enough not to or if he didn't even go at all he wouldn't even gotten the accident if he just would have stayed with her that day and just ate dinner with the family like everybody else like just i guess it was just a big movie to show that like one little one little turn of your day could change your whole life it's basically saying man at the end of the day even if things look like it couldn't be worse if you're stuck on a bare island don't give up, man, because situations change. The tides are always changing and no one knows the future, man. So even though every single door is shut, just keep on searching. One might be open. And I thought it was a really beautiful movie. And then the best part in the end was obviously new fling action. I'm assuming she's into him. She mm-hmm. seemed pretty into him. I mean, yeah. everybody likes Tom Hanks, right? <laughs> she said, oh, it's Tom Hanks at a crossroad. She <laughs> said, howdy there, Mr. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I could use some help on the farm. But I think the moral of the story is when life gives you a volleyball, you make a Wilson. <laughs> That's what I <laughs> Absolutely. think. That's what I got from this. Yeah. All right, guys. That was an awesome movie, man. If we missed any of the themes, please let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed it or had any fun at all, then please like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notification bells. It turns out that we upload stuff and you guys can go like 12 hours with the notifications on and they still don't pop up. So, I don't really know what to say about that, but if you want a better chance of seeing our stuff, then please just turn them on and hit us up on Patreon. All that good stuff. We'll see you on the next one.